Since launch, we've improved Hell Divers quite significantly together with you, the community. We've released a lot of content, such as the flyers, the TCS missions, the destruction of an entire planet. Oh shit, okay, you did a lot. What about bringing the game back to Steam so that even those who got wrong could fucking write a review and that review could be seen? Uh, actually able to buy the game again on Steam without going around the fucking system and buying from fucking third world countries or somewhere else. What about the fucking war bonds that literally add jack shit nothing to the game but yet again you fucking spam them. They do don't add enough nothing good, they're just balance issue and... Oh yeah, the balance you can constantly improve then you say this is game changing balance, this is good, when it's not good. Um, fucking hardware utilization is trash. Fucking high NPCs. You gotta have a fucking tank just to run a little fucking cart. Anyway, continue please. This time around, we've got something special prepared for you. It's our first step out of many where we're gonna expand the game in big meaningful ways. New game modes, new objectives, new enemies, and even a whole new difficulty. To give you that, we have to escalate it. An escalation of freedom. Bloody fucking clowns. You had so many fucking months to release all of this step by step with each fucking war bond. No, you fucking waited for goddamn half a year to release just a little bit and call it a big update. Fuck you, man. We're not stupid, we know how workflow works, we know how fucking shit this goes on. You're literally just intentionally putting brakes on the game so it fucking dies down so you can just bring it up again. Instead of continuously holding on the fucking community in proper ha happy health. And I don't even want to bring out the fucking stupid the game is not on Steam store. When freedom escalates, its opponents escalate. We're bringing back a fan favorite from Helldivers 1, the stabby, tentacled beast known as the Impaler. When you're playing against the Terminids, you can always try and run away. The Impaler ruins that plan. They will maybe cut off your escape route, and then you will probably have to stay and fight. Or you can fight the tentacles. The Spore Charger. This one has fog traveling around it. It's constantly moving, so it's gonna come right out of the fog and scare the lights out of you. The automatons are bringing in artillery. A big tank that shoots rockets. If you're further away, you can see it aimed towards the skies and fire rockets in the air, so you'll have a barrage coming down on you. In addition, you'll face off against heavier, more deadly brood commanders. With a small twist, the allies that it spawn will not be the ones that you're used to. Difficulty 10 has more enemies than we've had before on lower difficulties. We've really ramped it up. It's meant to feel like a real progression from 9 to 10. We're also introducing a larger type of outpost, and it's going to be a real challenge to take on these massive fortresses. But if you manage to do so, there will be great rewards waiting for you. Of course, what would the galaxy be without planets? Therefore, we wanted to spook it up with a new version of the swamp environment. Due to the view of addressing that uh, democratic feeling to those poor autistics and uh, gullible children, but uh, realistically what you're fucking adding right now should have been either with the game shipped together or gradually put in from the war bonds that you spend these all months cramming in, but you forgot to add the content with them. The acid storm weather effect now comes with a new mechanic. It reduces the armor of enemies and hell divers alike. You'll do a lot more damage, but you'll also take more in return, which is just as horrifying as it sounds. In escalation of freedom, we have new objectives come in, like the Retrieve Larva mission, where you find this backpack with a uh, little crying larva that you need to reach the extraction with. But you also have to be careful because it's gonna be crying a lot. 
and you're getting swarmed by more and more terminids. Let me translate what you just say. We hired a lot of fucking interns that took existing code, they reprogrammed a little bit those cassettes that you run around in the game, and we created a whole fucking new game mode by simply copy-pasting the fucking script. That's that's a that's a translation. Oh yeah, and we hired a little bit of uh, 3D designers so we can you know make that little backpack look different. With the Second Galactic War in full swing, Super Earth is currently battling the automatons and the bugs for control of the Milky Way. The Automaton Legion, they are constantly building bigger and worse war machines. The Terminids' uh, migration patterns seem to be changing. There's also been some irregular readings of the Terminids' spores in the various sectors where the Terminids are spreading. And we will see where the story develops from here. So, have we told you everything that's gonna be in the Escalation of Freedom? Of course we haven't. We have many more surprises in store for you. A surprise here and there that you maybe didn't expect. On August 6th, I'm ready to dive, and I hope you are too. You're talking like the game is actually gonna be better after this. No, it's not. It's just gonna be the same fucking rinse and repeat, because... All the missions are the same. Everything you do is the same. There is no variation from planetary defense to planetary offense to planetary cleanup. The fucking search and destroy missions are fucking retarded. Uh, this uh, kill missions are retarded because they're just standing in one spot. You don't even go around protecting specific spots where the invasion is happening. The only probable good thing you added was the fucking Lord of the Rings the goddamn defense mission, everything else is bloody the same. Go launch nuke, go fucking put key code, go fucking harvest something on the map, go do that, go turn dot off, blah blah, it's the same over and over. Yeah, war is similar, yes, I know, but, but come the fuck on, you could just make a mission where you actually see an invasion coming, you could fucking do that, you could pre preemptively make people defend an area, by moving in the area, and you could just make so much more by simply opening the goddamn game's code. I fucking see it, it's simple. No, you don't do that, because you know if you put too much fucking effort in the game, the player base will simply get spoiled, and you will not be able to cash out those fucking war bonds. This is Thermos Jar on the over and out.